so yesterday I was able to uh, get out for a ride and um, test out a little new camera setup and um, I mounted the Osmo Action 3 to the handlebars of the bike I reverted back to just auto settings um, I had been having some trouble with my manual settings I had a filter on there ND filter on there and just couldn't really dial in my settings so uh, it was just suggested that I revert back to auto settings which I did and uh, was pretty happy with the results of the footage very stable you'll see me a little bit later on and this video get up to some rougher terrain I rode over some grass and stuff like that and the stabilization was uh, on point um, so just happy overall with the the video how it came out and you know possibly a different setup in the future having uh, it on my handlebars also a little bit later on you'll see that I turned the camera towards me just to uh, be able to videotape me and you know, that could be a situation where I just do some bike vlogs a little bit later on down down the road. Uh, you know, maybe a, I'll get an additional camera so I can capture both myself with a little commentary. Uh, but also uh, get the picture of uh, the terrain that I'm on, whether it's just a normal little ride like this on the bike path or some of my more extreme stuff on some of the trails. Uh, but just wanted to share... Just a little bit of the setup with you of what today was all about uh, before I went into it a little bit further. You know, I really, really took everything I had to get out there on this day to get on the bike. Um, I didn't even put the bike on uh, my bike rack and drive to the trail. I said I knew if I did that, there'd, there'd be no way that I'd even get out for the little ride that I wanted to do. So what I did was is I just got on the bike and decided that, hey, I'm just gonna go to the bike path, which is not too far. So I had to uh, ride on the street a little bit, which I don't like to do much more, you know, now at this stage of the game. So, you know, stay close to the sidewalk, took the uh, crosswalks and things of that nature. And um, that seemed to, to work out for me which was pretty good uh, and then I got on uh, the bike path and from there everything was was smooth everything was cool mustered up nods and smiles to uh, some of the locals that are also riding and running and walking and things like that even that took a lot but I was able to get it out there but as I was saying it took a lot for me to get out I did some chores earlier uh, with my wife, dropped the kids off. There was a school event that we picked up some food, went back as we were celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander month. And uh, the kids had a special lunch set up and my wife uh, helps out with this luncheon every year. So we picked up the food, dropped it off. Actually, she dropped me off. And then she went on to the school. And when she dropped me off, it was about 11 a.m. It was actually a little bit earlier than that. She had to be where she needed to be at 11. So it was about a quarter to 11 when she dropped me off. And um, I had already eaten breakfast. There's no need to have lunch or anything like that. It was all good. I did not get out of the house until 1.30. And I had planned to leave at 11.30 or 12 o'clock to go for a ride I was going to go to one of my trails um, but like I said I just couldn't muster up the energy I couldn't muster up the strength to do it uh, I really couldn't muster up the desire to do it and um, I just sat on the couch watched a little TV and then before I knew it the TV was watching me as I went to sleep so when I did get up, 
about one o'clock I did have a little something and started to prepare myself for going out on the ride and at that point in time I didn't even want to bring a camera just another thing that I had to do and I wind up bringing the camera setting that up on the bike I didn't even bring any extra batteries which I would regret later um, because I needed it battery life ran out on me before I can get to the end of doing what I was planning on or hoping to do uh, but that was how I felt I mean there's an analogy right there a draining battery just enough energy to get done what I needed to get done and I really can't put a finger on what what's going on you know I get up and do the things I need to do uh, home stuff work stuff the extracurricular things that I got going on um, but I don't like the feeling of just doing the bare minimum or just getting by or just doing the things that I need to do and not having anything else left in this tank. And I can't put my finger on what's going on. My daughter just celebrated a birthday, something to be so happy and proud about. Purchased my tickets for uh, family vacation this summer, getting back home. So we'll be doing a little traveling, got some things planned. Once I get home to see the family, some friends, sightseeing, things of that nature. Most part, things are going good at work. You know, I do what I got to do. I get praised for the performance. Um, so that's good. And then being active and involved in the community, uh, there's things going on there that um, are happening. So again, I can't pinpoint or put my finger on exactly why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling I know something has to change and if you're out there and you're listening you're watching this video if you're feeling this way just a lack of energy not wanting to do the things that bring you joy bring you happiness fun stuff talk to somebody get some help because that's what I'm going to do I'm going to get some help